Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're going to talk about Yayoi Kusama today, the famous Japanese artist now turned 93 years of age as we're filming this video, collaborating with Louis Vuitton twice, once 10 years ago and celebrating the 10-year anniversary now. Well, turns out Yayoi Kusama is allegedly a racist. So this is a problem. Now, uh, Dexter Thomas wrote an advice article a couple of years ago about him interviewing her in her colossal a museum dedicated to herself, basically the Yoyo Kusama Museum, run by Yoyo Kusama. And she kind of cut the interview short. Well, he seemed, you know, <laughs> he seems to say that, well, you know, she does have a mental illness. She did spend last 40 plus years in an asylum. She might be seeing things and hallucinations, but he also says that he's black and she might have been triggered by that as well. We don't have proof of it, but what he does state in his Vice article is that black people make several appearances in Kusama's 2022, uh, 2002, pardon me, autobiography as exotic or primitive beings. Hmm. She breathlessly marvels at black people's distinctive smell and animalistic SEX techniques. Uh, she recalls using a nude black man in her own performance art, apparently for visual effect, describing his lips and genitals in detail. Um, she also laments that the area in Greenwich Village where she used to live has turned into a slum where real estate plummets $5 a day. And because, uh, allegedly, she says black people are shooting each other out front, Dexter also mentions that in the Japanese version of this autobiography, you read the sentence about black people, but it's taken out from the English translation version of the autobiography. Curious, isn't it? So, uh, so she's also a novelist. She has written stuff, visual work, of course, a visual artist. These stereotypical themes, Dexter continues, also appear in her short story, The Hustler's Grotto of Christopher Street, which features a young black male prostitute who is an impulsive drug addict. Now, is this enough to be able to say, hey, I don't want to have anything to do with Yayakuzama? Me personally? Yes. Of course, you be the judge of what you want to do and what you want to think. I have been kind of looking into reactions on social media about the situation. There has been one gentleman, uh, one black gentleman saying, you guys, no, don't come for her. She's from another time, another era. Uh, I have nothing against her. Uh, she, she can, you know, she, he says she has given us beautiful art. He kind of says that, I guess he implies that he forgives her for whatever other way of thinking she might have because she comes from another time. Some other person said, well, because she's also, you know, in a mental institution and she has those these hallucinations, should we forgive certain things that she says out loud or writes in a book? No forgive that. I'm sorry, because I mean, she's not writing the book alone, publishing the book alone and dealing with the book on her own. There's a ton of people who are going to read this book, who are going to proofread the book. You can be as cuckoo crazy off your rockers as much as you want. There's a publisher who ultimately also can get in trouble. They're going to read into that book. They're going to check the book. In fact, in English, they took that sentence out, allegedly. You see what I'm saying? So are they going to let her write all this stuff? If they let her write all this stuff, they're in on it. So you can't just use her mental illness as an excuse to whatever she says, however she behaves, and say, well, but you know, but she has she has mental problems. Okay, fine. So if I meet her on the street and she goes nuclear on me because of her mental situation, I get it. But publishing a book and stating these things and having all people that don't have mental illnesses involved in this and allowing it to get printed, that's a problem. You see what I'm saying? That's a problem. And of course, Louis Vuitton, well, you know, they don't care. Now, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. But as we all know, LVMH is really money hungry, <laughs> allegedly. So for them to be able to say, hey, you know what? We've had, while Marc Jacobs with was with Louis Vuitton. We had a collaboration with Yayoi Kusama and Delvi. Now we're going to celebrate the 10 year anniversary and we're going to do another collaboration and that nobody at Louis looks into this and that nobody at Louis consider this to be a problem. 
but they none of them had a problem raising their prices for this collection. You know, you can buy a regular Speedy at a certain price. Like it's almost double the price for the Yayoi Kuzama version with those ugly ass polka dots. I'm sorry, but it just ain't it for me. First of all, the collection, taking away the fact that we have issues, that I personally have issues with the way Yayoi Kuzama publicly does certain things. Take that away for a second. Forget about that and just look at the collection itself. I prefer the one from 10 years ago to this one. I think this one is, it's like 10 years, we've gone 10 years into the future since then, but the collection is kind of in retrograde. It's like going backwards. I feel like this collection is not good, uh, like the one from 10 years ago. Now, truth be told, I wasn't a fan of the one from 10 years ago either. I just, I found it meh, especially after, I'm sorry, Yayoi, but after your fellow Japanese colleague, artist also, uh, Takashi Murakami, after Murakami, Yayoi to me was just terrible. I mean, that collection compared to Takashi's collaboration with Louis was nothing to me. I was like, meh. You know, Steven Sprouse, even with his graffiti, is light years better than Kuzama's collection from 10 years ago, collaboration with Louis from 10 years ago. So take away the whole racist allegations and just look at the collection itself. Why are we paying almost double the price for polka dots on a, on a Speedy, on a key ball? Girl, little pumpkin polka dotted charms hanging off bags, hanging off almas in uh, epi leather. Girl, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just... Such a cheap rendition of that artist. Now, again, forget about the racism for a second and just look at her art throughout the decades. She has done way better things than put in simple, ugly polka dots on stuff. Way more stuff. And to translate her art onto Louis Vuitton products. And you had 10 years to work on a second rendition of the collaboration. You could have done so much more. It is lackluster lackluster, to say the least, what uh, the LV team has come up with for this Yayoi Kuzama collaboration. It looks like those cheap bags and gimmicky things that you could get at a museum shop. Maybe that's what Yayoi was thinking, that Louis Vuitton wanted to create a little museum gift shop moment for her own museum. She has her own, she has the Yayoi Kuzama museum. Uh, dedicated to herself. <laughs> Talk about an ego. So, like, did she maybe think that this collaboration is going to hit the museum shop? And she's like, it's good enough for that. I would say it's good enough for that. It's good enough for a museum shop. But you want to charge double the price of already exorbitant prices that Louis Vuitton charges for their uh, products, clothing, bags, shoes, small leather goods, and et cetera, et cetera. Jewelry, costume jewelry. No, I don't want to pay double. Sorry, Ayoi, this just ain't it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm Jacob, and this is the Fashion Banker. Never give up on love and subscribe.